After our previous series on 3i Atlas, here's the exciting update. Astronomers have detected water vapor from this interstellar visitor, releasing an astonishing 40 kilograms per second from 3.5 AU, far beyond Jupiter. Such activity is rare so far from the Sun, hinting at abundant icy material. Alongside asteroid studies like OSIRIS-REx, this helps scientists understand how water moves through planetary systems and supports the potential for life. Keep watching this video to know more about this topic. 3i slash Atlas was discovered on July 1, 2025 by Chile's Atlas Survey and confirmed as the third known interstellar object. Pre-discovery images from the Vera Rubin Observatory let astronomers track it early, providing key data on its position and brightness. The turning point came in late July when Swift's ultraviolet optical telescope detected hydroxyl emissions in the comet's coma. Hydroxyl is produced when solar ultraviolet light breaks apart water molecules, making it a reliable indicator of water vapor. At 3.51 astromanic unit from the sun, this level of water release is unusual. Most comets in our solar system only show comparable activity closer to two astromanic unit or less. Analysis suggests a water production rate of about 1.35 times 10 squared 7 molecules per second, around 40 kilograms every second. This corresponds to at least 19 square kilometers of active surface area, or roughly 20% of the comet's estimated total. Most solar system comets have active fractions closer to a few percent. Near-infrared observations revealed large icy grains in the coma, which likely sublimate independently contributing to the water output without relying solely on nucleus surface activity. Notably, early spectra showed no detectable signs of other common cometary gases, such as cyanogen, CN, or carbon monoxide, CO. This absence could indicate that 3i slash Atlas formed in an environment with fewer carbon-bearing volatiles or it may simply mean that these compounds are trapped beneath the surface and will emerge only as the comet nears the sun. 3 slash Atlas's October 2025 perihelion is key. If only water is detected, it hints at a unique chemistry. If other volatiles appear, it may resemble 2i Borisov, showing similarities across star systems. While 3i Atlas gives a fleeting chance to observe water release from another star system's comet, NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission has provided a direct, long-term record of water-related processes in our own solar system. Launched in 2016, the spacecraft reached the near-Earth asteroid Bennu in 2018 and spent over two years mapping its surface in detail. In October 2020, OSIRIS-REx collected surface material from Bennu and stored it in a sealed return capsule. That capsule landed on Earth on September 24, 2023, carrying roughly 250 grams of rock and dust. Laboratory analysis quickly confirmed that Bennu's samples contain organic molecules, including amino acids, along with minerals that formed through interaction with liquid water. Some grains bear signs of ancient salt water, indicating Bennu's parent body once had water flowing through its rocky interior. Such water rock chemistry could create environments suitable for forming life's building blocks. These findings strengthen the hypothesis that small bodies, asteroids and comets, played a role in delivering water and organic matter to early Earth. The hydrated minerals in Bennu preserve evidence of conditions that existed billions of years ago, providing a time capsule of chemical and geological processes from the solar system's early history. When viewed alongside it, Bennu offers a complementary perspective. One object showing water-related chemistry frozen in time, the other demonstrating active water release right now. Studying both helps scientists understand how water behaves across different environments and time scales. After completing its primary mission, 
OSIRIS-REx was renamed OSIRIS Apex and set on course for asteroid Apophis. This asteroid will pass unusually close to Earth in 2029, within the orbit of geostationary satellites, giving scientists a rare chance to observe how such an encounter might alter a small body's surface and internal structure. Apopsis and not expected to be as rich in hydrated minerals as Bennu, but Osiris Apex will investigate whether it contains any signs of past water-related processes. Comparing its composition with Bennu's will help clarify how common water rock interactions are among different types of asteroids. This work complements the study of interstellar visitors like 3I Atlas, Bennu's preserved mineral record, Apophis's post-encounter surface, and the active water release from an interstellar comet together create a broader data set for understanding how water is distributed and transformed in planetary systems. For 3I Atlas, the coming months will reveal whether its activity remains water-dominated or shifts to include other volatiles. For Osiris Apex, the approach to Apophis will test how planetary encounters influence the stability and composition of small bodies. Both projects share a common goal, to trace the journey of water from its origins in planetary systems to its role in shaping planets and potentially enabling life. Whether preserved in rock for billions of years or venting into space from icy grains, water holds clues about the environments in which small bodies formed and evolved. I-Atlas shows a comet's fleeting interstellar activity, while OSIRIS-REx delivers ancient, water-rich samples. Together, they reveal how water shapes planetary systems and habitability. Stay tuned to see what these cosmic clues teach us about life beyond our solar system.